So I'm late to the party. But people keep asking me what I think of the latest Amazon dystopian nightmare fuel. Destroy all humans. And the answer is that I already predicted it in August. I think probably those attack robot dogs from Black Mirror are probably next. We're almost certainly doomed as a species, but it does look cool, doesn't it? Astro will soon be here to follow us around our house, inevitably mishearing our requests until we kick it to death. So I thought now might be a good time to go over Amazon's latest keynote speech. Let's do it. So Amazon kicks us off with some heartwarming footage of army types returning home and people proposing on their doorstep to their girlfriends. And it's just a handy reminder that even the most private and personal moments should be captured by Amazon, purchased by Jeff Bezos, your love is a commodity, and broadcast to the world to sell more Amazon products to the unsuspecting public. This man's name is Dave Limp. <laughs> Dude, this guy's name is Limp. Like Limp Biscuit. Oh wait, I just got the joke. Dude, this guy's name is Lim. Like a pe- This one's actually quite a big deal. If you have any of the bowling ball shaped echoes, or you have a spinny exorcist head, then soon all speech processing will be able to be done locally on the device. Soon customers in the US who have either an Echo Show 10 or the latest generation Echo can choose to have all of their voice requests processed locally on the device using our AZ-1 processor. And that audio is never sent to the cloud. This is a huge leap for your data's privacy, and I think it will be nice to see some of those tinfoil hats finally coming off. I don't trust it! I don't trust you! And the toaster needs to stop looking at me! They won't take the tinfoil hats off. They're insane. And this is beautiful news. This is wonderful. Wait, what did he just say? Soon, customers in the US. Customers in the US. Customers in the US. I can't even talk about how angry it makes me that they keep releasing services in the US before the UK. So here's Mr. Socky to do it for me. Now look what you've done. If Amazon actually bother to release this to the global world, this will be the biggest thing to happen in the smart home industry in years. Local support on our devices is something people have been pushing for since the very beginning. Please Amazon, for the love of God, release it to the rest of us. This is basically a Nest thermostat for only $60. Now, considering the Nest thermostat itself actually costs $200, you have to wonder, what's Amazon's ulterior motive here? And the second question is, will it work with Google Assistant? Google can suck my bo- Ah, yes, that ulterior motive. It's very unlikely, I think, that Amazon are going to give you a $60 thermostat and then allow it to work with their competition. I think their bold move here isn't as bold as it looks. It's another way to make Amazon itself as sticky as humanly possible so that you'll never leave. The new Echo Show 15 has none of the motorized functionality of the Echo Show 10 and doesn't have that beautiful speaker system that sits in its very large base. So you've got to ask yourself the question, why is it five pounds more expensive? And I think the answer is that rocket fuel isn't cheap, is it, Jeff? Bezos in space. You better know your place. They go on to tell us that it could be wall mounted, without any explanation as to how it's going to be any easier to mount than a tablet was 10 years ago. And you've got to wonder, is it going to be a good idea to stick Amazon's proprietary cable behind your plasterboard, knowing full well that they'll just release another Echo Show next year that uses a different power supply? The answer is no, don't do that. But there are actually some exciting developments here. Amazon are now giving us widgets, you know, like we used to have on tablets 10 years ago. But these widgets look a lot better in my opinion than the 
stupid scrolling screen that never seems to be displaying the things I'm interested in. And so I am actually quite interested in these widgets because one, they look really good, and two, they're gonna be far more functional than what we have currently. But most excitingly, the new A to Z2 chip that they're putting in this thing will have the ability to recognize faces and then change what's on the screen depending on who's looking at it. And this is something I am genuinely excited about. But if you're thinking to yourself, I wonder if this functionality is going to come to the Echo Show 10 that I bought less than a year ago for only £240, then think again, because Miriam Boy's name has made it very clear that the A to Z1 chip won't be capable. It's the new A to Z2 chip that has this capability for some reason. Bollocks! Surely it's a software thing, not a physical chip thing to enable that functionality. It just sounds like complete bollocks to me. And the A to Z1 chip, I don't think has even been turned on in the UK yet, and they're already releasing an A to Z2 chip. What? More personalities for your Amazon Echo products. Hooray! Okay. Introduce me to Shaq. Sorry, that function is not currently available in the UK. The UK still doesn't have access to Samuel L. Bloody Jackson after two years. So good luck with this next feature, UK, because apparently we're now getting access to Disney characters. That's right, you could have your favourite Star Wars characters, or your favourite Pixar characters, or even your favourite Disney characters. And this feature is a complete waste of space, because you have to say the wake phrase, hey Disney, giving you an immediate disconnect from speaking to your favourite character anyway. Even Dave Limp thinks this is a waste of time. Hey Disney will even play personalized messages through your stay from some of your favorite Disney characters. Imagine Goofy dropping in to say hello. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Ew. Gross. And this is a device that projects an interactive play area in front of your hyperactive tiny human to help them stay focused whilst having a chat with grandma. And I actually think this is a really sweet idea. I have no reason to bash this one because this is actual innovation. This is the sort of thing Amazon should be focusing on, doing something new, not stealing other people's ideas and calling them their own or rehashing what they did a year ago, something brand new that we haven't seen before and that actually has a purpose. If this thing does what it says it does, it's actually gonna bring families closer together and let distant relatives spend time with your kids. That for me is a massive thumbs up. Melissa Char demonstrated to us an invisible robot that holds you up by the shoulders whilst you go entirely limp. Seriously, why is she stood like that? Melissa eventually disconnected from the invisible robot to tell us about Amazon's new Halo View Fitband. We built the first Halo band to be distraction free, so it has no screen. Halo View introduces a vibrant AMOLED color display. Wait, what? I don't care, it's a fit band. Boring anyway. Next. Ring's dystopian attack helicopter got some airtime. And they also announced some major innovations, such as SD card support and cellular backup. Because nobody's done that before. They're also offering now a subscription service where you pay a security company to watch your camera feed for you. Or you could just let Amazon's employees do it for free, without your permission. Hmm, Rings Innovations. whoop de doo Next. Just a couple of things then before we get onto the ridiculous robot. The first one is that Amazon's Blink Arm are now releasing a doorbell at only $49, which is ludicrously cheap. And this actually fills a gap in the market and might be worth looking at when it's released. The second really innovative, genuinely innovative, and really exciting thing to take away from this keynote 
is that Amazon claim to have been able to have figured out a way to tell whether you're in the room or not, just by using your Echo speaker. Your Echo speaker will send an ultrasonic frequency into the room, bounce it off the walls, back at its own microphone, and if it detects that it's come back at its microphone without bouncing off a human, it will know that you're not in the room anymore. From there, you can create routines that say, if I'm not in the room, switch the lights off. That is genuinely amazing. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, Astro the robot. In five to 10 years, we believe every home will have at least one robot. Can't wait. That sounds perfect. Stupid robot wandering around, following my legs, being a Great. And this thing is literally insane. Figuratively! Nope, literally. It has a periscope that comes out the top of its head so that it can see things that are higher up than it is. There. What? What? It goes around on like a route scanning your premises for burglars and has a periscope camera that comes out the top of its head. It's completely mental. But I actually think there are some uses for these things. They're quite limited in use, but I think it could be really valuable for checking on elderly relatives. If they're comfortable with having something like this in the house, knowing that you'll be able to see them on it periodically, then it actually has quite a lot of functionality to say, you know, it can't go in certain rooms, or it can only go in certain rooms at certain times of the day. They have seemingly put quite a bit of thought into the functionality. It can also beatbox. Astro? Beatbox. <laughs> because that won't get old. The other thing to bear in mind here, of course, is that this thing is an absolute minefield for privacy issues. Imagine this thing getting hacked. Come here, little girl. I just want to be your friend. Why are you running away? Get back here. Yeah. And I appreciate Amazon have gone to quite some lengths to make this thing private, but all of that goes out of the window if somebody gets hold of your Amazon username and password. I think personally, it's imperative that Amazon enforce two-factor authentication for anybody that buys this robot. Secondly, Amazon's own staff cannot be trusted to not look at the feed, and this thing is roaming around your house. The second thing I think Amazon need to do before they release this robot is to give us some assurances that it's actually impossible for their staff to get to their feet. Not just that they trust their staff not to and they're gonna fire them if they do, that is actually encrypted and impossible for them to view. With all that said, this is a major leap for robotics. And if Amazon have actually got this working the way they say they have, then color me impressed. The only thing is, without arms, I'm not sure what I'll use it for. I'd love to be proven wrong, but I don't think these kinds of robots are actually humanity's future. I think the future of automation are doors that open themselves for your dog, and bathrooms that clean themselves, and kitchen cupboards that will wash your dishes. A robot that goes around tinkering with things in your house is just science fiction in my opinion. Please prove me wrong, they're only $999, I'm going to buy three. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. This video came to you courtesy of these incredible people. These are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I would still be doing the day job. I would not be doing this for a living, and you wouldn't be watching this video. They're the best people in the universe, and you can be one of those people at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I would genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there, and we can be best friends. See you next time. Please sign here for your love. <laughs> what? That's rubbish. I just bought your love. <laughs> Google can suck my balls. Miriam boy's name. <laughs> 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 this
This will allow it to give you customized stuff on the screen based on who you are as a, who you are. Philips, who you are.